The Palestinians are the most pampered people in the world by international organizations. These are the words of RFK, RFK Robert Kennedy Jr. I want you to watch him have a discussion and a bit of a debate on a TV show called Breaking Points because he articulates some really critical points here. Have a watch. What I'm saying is the Israeli the Hamas is a criminal enterprise. Sure. Yes. The, the Palestinian, and you, uh, you talk about solutions for the Palestinian people. The yeah. Palestinian people are arguably the most pampered people by international aid organizations in the history of the world. Are you kidding me? No, well, even not. before this war, 78% of people in Gaza well, said me, they had you know, not enough food to eat. Right. And why is that? Why are you blaming well, Israel? Well, in part, that? it's Hamas. And in part, it's the fact that Israel imposed a blockade and talked about putting them on a diet. If, you're, if your neighbor... First of all, Israel has no obligation. I mean, Israel built 3,000 hot houses and gave them for greenhouses. That would have made Gaza completely food self-sufficient, gave it to them as a gift, offered to rebuild the port of Gaza to make it the Singapore of the West. Hamas said, no, we don't want you money, we don't want you ideas. And what do they do? The international aid agencies have given Hamas, have given Gaza, more than 10 times the per capita what we gave to rebuild all of Europe after the Marshall Plan. They've gotten $8,300 per capita, every person in Gaza. We rebuilt Europe with $621 per capita in Europe, and we rebuilt it. Mm. What did they do with that money? Instead of using it to make this, you know, Gaza is this beautiful country, white sand beaches, it should be a paradise. Hamas said, we don't want that. They take virtually all of that money and they steal it. So the top five guys, the top five leaders of Hamas are billionaires. Ismail Haineh has $5 billion, according to Forbes. So, Bobby, again, Wait, I, let me just finish. No, because you made us, you know, you are making a statement that is just wrong. It's not Israel's fault that Gaza is poverty stricken. Gaza is, 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 should be one of the, the wealthiest states on the, on the Mediterranean. They have no control over their own territory. Yeah, of they, course, Israel if you go to war, if you go everything to Everything that comes in and goes out. If you go to war, no, Crystal, you, Crystal, you why are you Hold blaming, on. why do you insist on blaming Israel rather than blaming no, Hamas? I do blame Hamas, but well, you know Hamas, what else, Bobby? Our tax dollars do not go to Hamas. They go to the net new house. Yeah, and why? And you know why? bombs, 22,000 of their bombs dropped right, on the civilian you know population what, right you now. You know what most of our tax cut dollars have gone for? For the Iron Dome, which is a way of not of not invading God. Our country and Israel for 16 years have expended this huge amount of money to try not to go into Gaza. While Gaza sent 2,000 rockets a year, suicide bombers, and of course Israel's going to fight. how many times Israel come in and quote unquote mowed the lawn? They've gone in five times, and every time they've signed a peace agreement with Hamas, and every time they violated that peace agreement. Let, let me, let me well, just- Well, Israel also has been why are you, Palestinians in West Bank, but Bobby, hold on. Listen, I want to move forward. if Mexico attacked us and we built a fence, would you blame us for caging in Mexico? Well, you're, you know, well, I don't know what it, what it is, but everything in your mind is telling you to blame Israel Bobby. It, instead of blaming Hamas. Such a great clip. And it's it touches on such a common theme that we see in these Israel debates, which is that it's exactly what RFK is saying. Why is there this need, this obsession, this twisting of reality to want to keep blaming Israel? You talk about the blockade, there's a blockade. Why is there a blockade? Because Israel gave away Gaza to the Arabs and then the leadership started th throwing lobbing rockets over every single day. So they have to, Israel says, well, two options, either we reoccupy or reinvade or we uh, have to blockade what's going in, censor what's going in. By the way, blockade doesn't mean they stop things traveling into Gaza, it means they censor. So they're not allowed to censor weapons? Why? This is to protect their civilians, to protect their, their people. That's, that's illegitimate. Well, if you think that's illegitimate, then you've got a real problem with the Jews. And the fact that you have a problem with this blockade at all, and you're pointing the finger at Israel, there would be no blockade. There'd be peace, there'd be Israel. Gaza, as RFK says, would be the Singapore of the Middle East. And people do the same thing with checkpoints. They lament, oh, there are these checkpoints in, in Judea and Samaria, in the West Bank. 
where Arabs who are living in the Palestinian territories, if they want to go to work in mainland Israel, how terrible, go to work in mainland Israel. And, uh, but they need to ha go through these checkpoints and it's humiliating. Why are there these checkpoints? Do you think if there wasn't a culture of terrorism and suicide bombers and stabbing Jews and Israelis in uh, the Palestinian territories that, that, that then Israel would have such, need to have such high level of checkpoints? Why are you pointing the finger at Israel time and time again? It's very clear to me that it's just about a bias against Israel, against the Jews. That's what it comes down to. If you can't see reality in a fair, objective way, then there must be some deeper bias that's going on. And it's great to see RFK point that out. And I think more people should, because we're seeing this far too often in the media. Maybe not necessarily in the public, because what you see in the media does not necessarily reflect what the public are thinking. But those who are hostile to Israel and they're pointing the finger, lobbing all these accusations at Israel, need to really look at, look at themselves in the mirror and ask a question. Am I actually being fair and honest in this situation? It's really great to see people like RFK say this clearly. And more of us should have the confidence to do so. I can't still can't get over the fact that we had in Gaza an Al Jazeera photojournalist who would lament and decry Israel's war crimes in Gaza. Horrendous how they're so desperately brutalizing the poor Palestinians. Meanwhile, this Al Jazeera photojournalist was holding imprisoning hostages himself. So don't get so intimidated by all these hysteria and accusations and shaming, attempt to shame Israel. It's nonsense. Israel is a shining light. The IDF are a shining light. Israel's cause is just. And no matter how much people scream and protest and lob false accusations at Israel, she will continue. She will prosper. She will do what she needs to do. And she will not falter in these trying times. Hi, thank you so much for watching. To watch another one, click here. To stay up to date with all our content, click here to subscribe. And if you're able to, you can help support JTV to grow and grow by clicking join below this video, where you can become a member and get perks, including early access to videos and private live discussions with me. But most of all, you'll be partnering with us on our mission to change the world.